Hello everyone. Here is a 50 states book about Tennessee. So let's zoom it in. Okay. So come on. Sometimes my mouse can be difficult. All right. So it says music is so essential to Tennessee that it has 10 state songs more than any other state. And for the best in country and blues music, the world turns to Nashville called Music City, Memphis, home of the blues, and Bristol known as the birthplace of country music. Every year, some 6,000 songs are performed during Nashville's Grand Ole Opry concerts, which are broadcast to the world. The Opry is America's largest running radio show. Not too shabby. Music guru Larry Nasier heralds Memphis as the most musical city on the planet, while country music birthplace Bristol is home to a 70-foot long guitar-shaped building. For those looking to explore the great outdoors, Tennessee has lots to offer. The lush Smoky Mountains are the place to go hiking and rafting by day, while at night you can gather around a campfire with good company and a handful of s'mores. Sounds good to me. All right. Let's go to moments to remember. Just zoom it in a little better here. Oh, mouse, where have you gone? Okay. Sorry guys, my mouse is not wanting to cooperate. Okay, so it says August 18, 1920, Tennessee casts the deciding vote to pass the 19th Amendment, giving women the right to vote. 1821, Sequoia finishes his Cherokee alphabet, meaning that the Cherokee language can be written down for the first time. His first student is his six-year-old daughter. January 1866, Fisk University is founded. Future graduates of this prestigious institution include anthropologist Janetta B. Cole, sociologist W.B.E.B. Du Bois, poet Nikki Giovanni, and suffragette Ida B. Wells. August 1878, Memphis is struck by the deadly yellow fever. Instead of fleeing, a few brave volunteers led by Sister Constance stay to nurse the sick. Constance died on September 9th and is honored every year on this date. November 28, 1925, the Grand Ole Opry, the radio show that made country music famous, is first broadcast introducing fiddle player Uncle Jimmy Thompson. November 1932, Highlander Folk School opens training leaders such as Martin Luther King Jr., Rosa Parks, and Stokely Carmichael. June 9, 1951, Rocket 88 by Jackie Brenston and his Delta Cats tops the charts. Recorded at Sun Studio, it is famed as the first rock and roll record. January 3, 1987, Aretha Franklin, the Queen of Soul, one of the hundred greatest artists of all time, becomes the first female performer in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Love Aretha Franklin. She's got a great voice. Okay, key facts. Capital is Nashville. Largest city is Memphis, um, Nashville, and Knoxville. Bird, Mockingbird, named for Tennessee, was the name of a Cherokee village on the Tennessee River. Statehood date June 1st, 1796. Statehood order 16. Flower is the iris. Postal code TN, region south. Main time zone central, and the tree is the tulip poplar. Ooh, pretty. And their motto is agriculture and commerce. All right, so let's find some famous people from this state. All right, Al Gore, he was born in 1948. Gore served as the 45th vice president. His environmental activism has won him a Nobel Peace Prize. And we have Dar David Farragut. Born in 1801, died in 1870. The Civil War naval hero was born in Knoxville. 
He joined the Navy when he was only nine. Oops. We have Bessie Smith. Oh, what a good name. Born in 1894, died in 1937. Born in Chattanooga, the Empress of the Blues was the highest paid black singer of her time. All right, you. I'm trying to find. Ah, oh, there's more down here. All right. We've got Sequoia, a member of the Cherokee Nation. The silversmith created a system of writing for the Cherokee language. Elvis Presley, born in 1935, died in 1977. A Tapilo native, this world-famous singer and actor is known as the king of rock and roll. And then we have Hattie Carraway. Born and educated in Tennessee, Carraway was the first woman elected to the U.S. Senate. That's cool. All right, let's start here. We're going to look, zoom into Memphis. Memphis is in this corner of Tennessee. Lucky Ducks. Ever seen a family of ducks march from a hotel penthouse to the lobby fountain? Those at the Peabody Hotel have. It's happened every day since the 1930s. Barbecue, I love you. Tennessee holds supreme bragging rights to world-class barbecue. The King. Graceland was the home of the hip-swiveling legend who changed the music world, Elvis Presley. Sun Studio from Johnny Cash to Roy Orbison. All the biggest rockabilly stars have recorded there. So, up here we have Clarksville. Clarksville athlete Wilma Skeeter Rudolph overcame polio to win three gold medals in the 1960 Rome Olympics. And then here's Nashville. So the Grand Old Opry, which I hope to go there someday is a weekly stage concert that launched the careers of some of country music's biggest stars. Tennessee State Capitol, before the Capitol building's architect William Strickland died, he asked to be buried within the walls. And he was. Whoa. All right. I already read that part. Hands up. If you take the Railway Museum's train from Nashville to Watertown, you may be part of a train robbery. Blues harp to Ford Bailey from Smith County won nationwide fame as the harmonica wizard. I like that. Smith County. Father of the United Nations, born in a log cabin in 1871, Cordell Hull went on to help found the Na United Nations. Hands up. If you take the railway museum's train from Nashville. Oh, I think I already read that. I'm sorry. The Scene Eye. In 1929, Dorothy Eustace founded this school in Nashville to train dogs to help the blind. Strolling Jim, the famous Tennessee walking horse, Strolling Jim, is buried outside the stables at the Walking Horse Hotel, War Trace. The Battle of Shiloh is a major battle of the Civil War. Flying Saucer House, spend your vacation in an out-of-this-world house on Signal Mountain. And that's near Chattanooga. The chocolate marshmallow cake that is the moon pie was created in Chattanooga. Ooh, moon pies are good. Yum, 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 yum. All right, let's cover these and then we'll zoom in on Knoxville. Beloved Chief Okanastata, the warrior of Choda and celebrated Cherokee diplomat, was buried at Choda in his canoe. 258,000 nails. At 97 feet tall, the minister's house in Crossville is the world's tallest tree house. Guess how many nails it took to build it? Leading leaders, civil rights leaders like Rosa Parks and Stokely Carmichael studied in Newmarket. In Cowboy Tales, Jonesboro's National Storytelling Festival is the place to hear ghost stories. Ooh. King of the Wild Frontier, in Rutherford, you can peek into a cabin modeled on the home of legendary pioneer, explorer, and politician Davy Crockett. And then let's zoom in to Knoxville, which is the one part of Tennessee I've been to. But I have not been to Dollywood, but I would love to go there. It's a theme park owned by country music star Dolly Parton. Dare to ride the Mystery Mine roller coaster. Great Smoky Mountains, otherwise known as the Salamander Capital of the World. Remember we saw that picture on the other thing? This national park hosts more than 30 different species. Shark sleepover? I don't know about that. Oh my. Don't forget your jammies. 
fall asleep at Ripley's Aquarium with sharks swimming all around you. That sounds like my worst nightmare. Just saying. That is a place I will not be visiting, just so you guys know. But by all means, go ahead. Let me know how it goes. Ooh. Oh. You guys know I don't like the sharks. They scare me. All right. Real quick. Tennessee. Other things that we could mention. State mammals, raccoon. I think I mentioned that. State fish is the largemouth bass. State insect is the ladybug. The area is 41,217 square miles. Highest point is 6,643 feet. Lowest point, 178 feet. And I think that is it. So I hope you learn a little more about Tennessee and that you'll want to go there. I know. I definitely want to go back and explore a lot more. Except for this thing here, the shark sleepover. That is not happening. Not happening. All right, you guys. See you later.